Greetings. Welcome back to Ham Radio Test and Review. My name is Dave. I live in Flagstaff, Arizona. My call sign is N8DAV, and the motto for my channel is One Test is Worth a Thousand Expert Opinions. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Diamond HT Walkie Talkie Antenna, model number RH77CA. Now, I will show you the antenna. And you can see it's got the nice uh, blue lettering on it. And, uh, and it's got a BNC connector. Anyway, um, I will get into the specifications on this antenna here in just a second. But before I do, I want to show you the packaging that it comes in. All right, this is a nice soft plastic, um, rounded corners. It's got a little inventory number on the back. Not quite sure exactly what that is, but uh, this is original Diamond packaging. I bought this from Diamond uh, on Amazon. All right. So uh, I know it's an authentic uh, antenna and I will be right back with all the specifications. All right. I'm back. The uh, This is the Diamond RH77CA uh, dual band antenna. Of course, it's designed for two meter and 70 centimeters. However, it also says that it's for um, wideband reception also. So it says that it's good um, for um, uh, 120, 150, 300, 450, 800, and 900 megahertz bands. Now that's just for receiving. For transmit and receiving, it is for 2 meter, 70 centimeter. All right. Um, it's uh, 14.875 inches long. It's a rubberized whip. It's very flexible. As you can see, it does sag when, when held up horizontally. Not a lot, but, but some. You can see it a little bit. Um, it has the BNC connector. Now, it does come up with the SMA female connector, and that uh, has a slightly different model number. I think, believe that it has an S in it. It might be the SRH77CA. It, don't count me on that one. But when you go out to Diamond's website, you'll see it out there. Uh, it's a 50 ohm antenna. It's uh, specified by Diamond as having 1.5 to 1 SWR or less. Um, it has a it takes a maximum of 10 watts, and it's specified as having 2.15 dB gain uh, for 70 centimeter only. And they don't specify it for the two meter band. Plus. One of the few things that uh, that these antenna companies do, Diamond does this occasionally, uh, they do specify that this is a quarter wave antenna on 2 meter and a half wave on 70 centimeter. So that's interesting. But they also say that they don't say that it's resonant on any of those um, frequencies. Uh, and the last thing uh, that I have for you is, of course, because it's a uh, BNC connector, it does not come with a rubber grommet. And I paid $26.99 on Amazon for this antenna. All right. So those are the specifications for this antenna. You got to see that it is an original. And um, I'll be right back uh, and we'll get started on uh, testing uh, this diamond antenna. We'll see how well or how bad it does. Be right back. All right. Here we are. We're doing the test on the uh, diamond RH77CA HT antenna. First, we're going to test on the 2 meter band, and we come up with 1.85 or 1.84 SWR at 7.91 watts. We're going to test the Diamond RH77CA HT antenna on the uh, 70 centimeter band, and we get an SWR of 1.00 and 4.91 watts. And last but not least, we're going to test the Diamond RH77CA antenna on the GMRS channel 16 for all of my GMRS bands out there. And we come up with an SWR of 1.02 to 1 at 4.82 watts. All right, just like I always do, I use the Nano VNA antenna analyzer to back up the readings that I get from the uh, power SWR meter. And I do this because, you know, the power SWR meter gives you a general idea where the um, uh, nano VNA antenna analyzer will give you more of an exact idea. And I think both numbers are 
important when you're dealing with uh, antennas. So let's turn this on. It's going to default to the two meter band. And let's see what we've got here. And at 146.52, we have an SWR of 2.728 and a impedance of 47.3. So we're going to test on the 70 centimeter band. And we're going to set this over to 46.446.00. And we get an SWR of 1.321 and an impedance of 37.8. All right. Last thing that we always do is for our GMRS bands, we like to test on the GMRS channels. And here we go. And try to do the same channel every time. There we go. We got an SWR of 1.786 and an impedance of 28.34. All right, here we are. We've got the field strength meter it's all set up. I run this test at a prescribed distance with the same HT every single time on high power. And the only difference is the antenna I have on the HT. So at the end of the video, I'll be able to compare all the different uh, field strength readings that we'll get uh, to all the other antennas that I've tested. So we can get at, as best we can an apples to apples comparison. So here we are on the two meter band test. All right, here we are on the 70 centimeter band field strength test. And for all the GMRS fans out there, Here's the field strength test on GMRS channel 16. All right, I'm back out here at Fox Glen Park in Flagstaff, Arizona. This is my favorite park for testing HTs and for testing uh, antennas, HT antennas. And uh, the reason for that is it's about 2.8 miles. Uh, could be as much as three, but I think uh, we're, we're right at the 2.8 mile mark, if uh, my estimates, estimation is good. Um, and um, we, uh, we have very little um, uh, in between uh, here where I'm sitting and the um, base station antenna. I've got some trees and some forest, but that's about it. So um, I tried to uh, do this test on the um, higher frequencies. So in this particular case, I'm using the GMRS channel 16. And uh, I do that uh, because, or I'm sorry, channel 20 because I have my repeater set up on channel 20. Uh, sorry about that. Um, didn't mean to mislead you. Uh, so anyway, so um, I'm at the GMRS channel, repeater GMRS channel 20. And um, I think um, that uh, the antennas that aren't so good, we get a lot of static or they don't work at all. I've had one antenna so far not work. And uh, the ones that do work really well, I get very little static. So let's try it. This is the... Um, Diamond RC, I'm sorry, RH77CA antenna. WSBX662, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. WSBX662, testing 1, 2, 3, 4. Wow, that was good. Very, very little static. I mean, that was just excellent. I think that's one of the better antennas I've tested out here so far. Uh, this antenna really did very, very well. I'm, uh, I'm very impressed with it. I'm very uh, happy, actually, with the results of this antenna. So this might be something I keep for myself. Um, anyway, uh, so that's, uh, that's the way things are here. And uh, next time you see me, I'll be out on my deck, probably in the sun, and uh, enjoying a little bit of rays. And I'll uh, go over all the results of all the tests. And um, then we'll, uh, we'll come to a conclusion. And... Uh, you might be surprised, and maybe you won't be. Who knows? All right. Be back in just a minute. All right. What did we learn today by testing the Diamond RH77CA antenna, this whip antenna? Yeah, it whips. It's pretty flexible. Um, 
First of all, I have to say, the feel and the look on this antenna is top notch. Um, there's no uh, casting marks in any of the plastic anywhere. The detail on the tip here, there's lots of little ridges here on the tip. I don't know if you can see those ridges or not, but it's got ridges on the tip. I mean, it, it's they didn't leave anything um, uh, off, any kind of little details. This is an excellent, excellent antenna. The bottom has a where they where you use it to turn the uh, uh, the BNC connector in order to connect it. It's got not only it's knurled as you can probably see over here the knurling. But this part here has got a little rubber piece on it, so you can get a better grip on it. it I'm telling you, this is this is a high class antenna. Is it worth the twenty six dollars? Well, let's see. Let's find out. So, what did we get for SWR? We got one point eight four on two meter, which is great. We got one point zero zero on seventy centimeter and one point oh two on GMRS. This thing has the potential to perform really, really well. So let's find out if, what happened. With the Nano VNA, we got a 2.7 on two meter. Now that's actually pretty close to what I consider verification by the Nano VNA. Lately, the Nano VNA has been reading approximately uh, 0.7 to, to 0.8 to uh, about one higher than the power SWR meter on the two meter band. I don't know what's changed, if anything has changed. Maybe it's just been uh, that way. I'm not really sure. But that's exactly what happened. Now, on the 70 centimeter, what did we get? We've got 1.32 on the nano VNA out of, and 1.0 on the, on the power SWR meter. That's as close as you're ever going to get. And on the GMRS, we got 1.786 and on the nano VNA and 1.02 on the power SWR meter on GMRS. We're looking pretty darn good as far as the SWR is concerned. But if you've caught my last video with the blue antenna, SWR doesn't always tell the whole tale. So let's look and see what the field strength meter says. All right. So the field strength meter on two meter said minus 4.9 dBi on two meter. That my friends, is about, uh, that's, that's a little worse than average. Uh, average is about point, minus 6, and this was minus 5. So a little bit better than average, but still not great. However, the tail tells on 70 centimeter and on GMRS. Remember, we got 1.00 and 1.02 on 70 centimeter and GMRS. And with the field strength meter, we got plus 2.1 on the 70 centimeter band. And I have to tell you, that goes right along with the other diamond antenna that I tested just a week or two ago. Really way up there. That's much higher than the average. And on GMRS, plus 1.5. That's terrific. The only other antenna that did better than that was the other diamond antenna that we had. So we're looking good. Let's see. You know, we get these great field strengths. We get these great SWRs. But how did it go in the real world test when I tested it at 2.8 miles with the uh, with my uh, repeater on my base antenna? Well, guess what? We had very little static, almost no static. It was very, very little, but just a tiny bit is what we call sizzle in the, in the uh, radio world. We call it just sizzle because it sounds like a sizz like bacon sizzling in the background. This is the best antenna I have tested so far since I've moved here. I have to give credit where credit's due. This diamond antenna, this RH77CA, this is a great antenna so far. Excuse the fly. Um, so. Would I buy this antenna for $26.99? You know what? I am. I'm going to buy another one. I'm going to buy it for myself, personal use. I'm going to keep this one, not giving this away. I'm giving away a lot of my antennas, by the way. If they don't perform at the optimum, I'm giving them away. So I have a nephew who can take quite a few. I have another nephew who doesn't mind. Hey, everyone. This is Dave from Ham Radio Test and Review. I would really appreciate it that if you enjoy my content, 
that you uh, subscribe to my channel and, uh, and hit the uh, button so you can uh, ring that bell and uh, get all my content that I provide every single week. So I would really appreciate that and it will help me grow my channel. Thanks very much. This is Dave with Ham Radio Test and Review saying so long.